Over the past 20 or 30 years, computers have become a prominent part of the workplace. But one area in which they have so far failed to make their mark is in the design of organic synthetic pathways. With his new software application, Syntorus, Bartosz Grzybowski believes this is about to change. It devises synthetic pathways based on a set of rules developed by him and his team. Bartosz kindly provided Chemistry World with a demonstration video showing novel suggested pathways for Texobactin and Aliskerin. The first um, molecule we are trying is um, Texobactin, which was uh, published in Nature last year. And uh, Synthesis was just published a few days ago. What you see here is a process that works on 64 computers, 64 cores, and after about eight minutes in real time, you actually um, produce, or Chematica produces, or Centaurus produces the synthesis that you that, that the pathway is shown here. Now, the color coding of the nodes in this pathway that you see is red is uh, molecules that you can buy, uh, green is molecules that are already known somewhere. These are the stop points of the search. Violet are molecules that are not known, not report, reported in the literature. Um, upon hoovering over the reaction node, like this one here, you get a full reaction summary. You also get, if you see here on this plot, there are many uh, blue halos. Blue halos denote need for protection, and we just saw a need for protection for one. We can also display the prices and the popularities of um, respectively the red nodes, the, the starting points, the, the buyable materials, or the green ones. The green ones, remember, these are known somewhere in literature and the numbers over them signify in how many reactions they were used before. So this entire pathway, it's a convergent pathway. It's one of the top scoring pathways. And right now what Carol is doing is screening down in about eight minutes, we produced on the order of 100, maybe 200 synthetic plants. And then we stop the search. Of course, if you continue, you know, like this, this will be um, even better. Um, so what else um, to tell you about this? Yeah, the slider right now here just shows, you know, how similar the pathways are. And we are zooming on the most, um, um, the top scoring one. Well, here's another target, Alice Kirin. This is a drug. Uh, what we're doing here is setting the scoring functions. This one here gives you some uh, preference for creating stereo centers. This one here scores the reactions, less steps, the better, uh, elegant steps, the better. These uh, red and blue were the stop points where the algorithm is supposed to stop, uh, viable or known molecules. Um, the real time is in the upper right corner. And after this time, we produce a synthetic plant that we think is actually pretty cool. So it starts with addition of green reagents to sulfonylamines an apple reaction top score, top top pathway and you can read the rest in the miniatures um, please note that um, each of those actually gives you predicted yields um, it estimates the reliability none of those is based on any literature precedents it's actually the rules that we coded into centaurus about 25 30 000 rules that we have right now and the algorithm works as described in our recent Angevante publication uh, review on um, um, computer-assisted synthesis. Um, and as before, in takes you back in, the algorithm traces it back all the way to nodes that are either red, viable, or green, known. And uh, what we are doing here is just showing you all the steps. So if you have any comments on this pathway, we are happy to answer them. Maybe somebody would like to pursue this and uh, synthesize. We're also open for academic collaborations and so on and so on. Um, so right now, Carol is closing the windows. And I'm not sure what else we are going to show you here. Ah, yeah, how many other pathways it created. So the one we, we uh, just did was top scoring one. Here are some other options. As you scroll down, you will see hundreds of them. Here you dis actually display the prices. You describe the connectivities of the molecules, the green ones, meaning you know, how popular they are. So the computer was told to find a pathway that ends in cheap substrates or popular substrates. And I guess this was it. So if you have any questions, you know, look us up at uh, chematica.net and uh, please read our Angevante paper on uh, computer-assisted synthetic planning. Again, this was Bartosz Grzybowski uh, together with Mr. Karol Molga. Greetings from Warsaw. Thank you.